The left is burning churches in Chile. And uh, just two churches burned in the last couple of days. And uh, you can watch one of them burn right here. Take a close look. you'll see is a kind of Antifa type, in fact dressed in a virtual Antifa outfit, all black, kind of creep out, go up to the statue at the very top and the cross and knock over the statue as a first step to setting the whole place on fire. And all of this is eerily reminiscent of what's been happening in America. The knocking down of the statues of the uh, Christian saints who built the missions in California, the knocking down of Jesus statues, the burning of St. John's Church in Washington, D.C. We see a close parallel between the left in Chile and the left here. My wife Debbie is from Venezuela. In a recent Prager University video, she tracks the comparisons between the left in Venezuela and the left here. You should watch that video if you haven't. But one of the parallels is that they, they knock down Columbus statues in Venezuela. Why? Because Columbus is seen as a sort of symbol of colonialism and Western civilization. Exactly the same reason that they yanked down the Columbus statue in Baltimore and other Columbus statues and have flung them to the ground or thrown them in that one case into the, um, into the ocean. So what this shows you is that the left is the same everywhere. The left in Europe, the left in South America, in Asia, the left functions kind of as a global phenomenon. This is not true of the right. You t talk about American conservatives, they may have some affinity with the Tories in Britain, but they have nothing to do with um, the right in France or the right in Eastern Europe, let alone the right wing in other countries. The right functions in a sense nationally, the left internationally. So how is this possible? I think in part it's because we've got instigators, people like George Soros, who not only are very active in funding the left in the United States at every level, uh, not just the federal level, but putting money into state and local races, pushing DAs uh, in the states, ultimately trying to capsize the boat right here. But meanwhile, they're trying to capsize the global ship. Uh, Soros is one of the heads of the snake. It might be a many-headed hydra, but he's one of them. And he, using his enormous financial power, and think how far a euro or a dollar goes in some of these poor countries, he's able to literally wreck these people uh, through his own malevolent instigation. I think it's very important that we investigate the left, not just here in this country, but abroad, in order to stop all this mayhem, arson, and violence that they are perpetrating worldwide.